my name is Sarah Jane, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be the first video in learning how to crochet for absolute beginners. This series of videos is also good if you are already a crocheter and just need a refresher. I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know to get started, so let's get stuck straight in. In this episode you will learn what you need to begin, how to prepare your yarn, a slip knot and a chain stitch. What you will need to begin. In order to start the journey of learning how to crochet, you will of course need a few tools. So the first thing that you're going to need is your yarn. I'm using this paint box yarns in Simply Aran. So I would recommend that you use an Aran weight yarn or a DK, which stands for double knit. And then also when you're looking at your yarn, have a look at the yarn label and it will tell you what size crochet hook you will need. So on this particular one, it tells you to use a five millimeter hook. It says eight USA in the middle and then a six UK. The reason it has different ones is because there are different terms depending on what terms you are using, so UK or USA. Once you've established which size hook you need for your yarn, you then want to go ahead and get your crochet hook ready. I have a selection here because they do come in all different shapes and sizes. This is an aluminium hook with a soft grip handle. This is an acrylic hook. This is a full aluminium crochet hook. And then this is aluminium with a plastic handle but as I say there are many more on the market. I would recommend that you start with something with an aluminium um, head to it so like this one for example or these two because it's much easier to work with at first. You will also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle to um, tie off your ends when we get to that stage. Stitch marker will come in really handy but it's not necessarily important when you are just starting out. I will leave links in the description box below of all the places where you can get any of these tools. Preparing your yarn. You want to start by removing your yarn band and then you want to unravel some yarn so that it's nice and easy when you're working with it. You can either choose to work from the centre of the yarn ball or from the outside, it's totally up to you. But make sure that you unravel enough because this will help when it comes to your tension. How to do the slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take the end of your yarn and wrap it around your finger, bring it forward to make an X. Pinch that in your hand that's holding the yarn, grab the yarn that's attached to the ball and wrap it around your finger and again pinch in between your finger and thumb. Take the back loop and bring it over the front loop and there you have your slip knot. How to do the chain stitch. We're then going to take our crochet hook and insert it into the slip knot pull down on the attached piece of yarn and we are ready to start our chain. So there are a few different ways to hold your hook. I would recommend you try in different ways so that you can find a way that suits you best. I hold mine like this, which is called a knife hold, just how you would hold a knife when eating. There is also the pencil hold, which is like this, just like you would hold a pencil. I'm going to do it the way that I hold it, which is the knife hold. You then want to get used to holding your yarn. The way that I do this is I bring it around my little finger and around my pointy finger, like so. But again, please play around with this because it will be different from person to person. You then want to take your finger and thumb and you're going to pinch just underneath the slip knot and this creates your tension for your project. So now we're ready to create a chain. You're going to wrap your yarn around the hook where we have created the tension. You then want to grab the yarn with your crochet hook and bring your crochet hook towards you and through the loop. That is a chain. So I'll show you that again. You want to go around the yarn and then grab the yarn and pull it through around, grab the yarn and pull it through. When you wrap your yarn around the hook, this is called yarn over and will be used in many different techniques throughout crochet. So yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over, 
and pull through the loop. So let's take a look at what we have done so far. We have created a series of chains. As you look at these chains, they almost look like Vs. So we have one, two, three, and four. We're going to create 10 so that we can start to build some stitches on top of this in the next video. So let's do some more. Yarn over, pull through, that's five. Yarn over, pull through, that's six. Notice how I'm moving my fingers up along the chain as I'm working. This helps with your tension. Yarn over, pull through, seven. Yarn over, pull through, eight. Yarn over, pull through, nine. And then one more, yarn over, pull through, 10. So we now have 10 chains. So we're just going to look at this chain and get used to some of the terms which you see in crochet. So as you see this V, as we're looking at the chain, you have a top loop and a bottom loop. If I twist this round, you see a series of bumps along the back and they are called the back bumps. A couple of common mistakes are when you crochet too tight. So when you pull through, you are pulling too tight on your tension and you can't get your hook through, in which case you just want to ease off. Another mistake is when you do it too loose and you pull on the hook and make your chain too loose. So I would highly recommend that you practice this over and over until you get the technique correct, and then we can move on to actually doing some stitches. Make sure that you check out the next video in this series where we'll be learning how to double crochet, which is a UK term. In the US, this is a single crochet. See you then.